Kim here, welcome back to my vlog channel. So I am at Kansai Airport now and I'm just about to go onto my flight. I'm flying back to Australia today, so I'm going to Hong Kong first and then I'm going back to Perth. So luckily this time around my flight is 10 minutes early instead of one hour late, so I should be able to make my next flight. I'm gonna start boarding in about 10 minutes. I was gonna go into a lounge and um, get some breakfast maybe, but because we're boarding in 10 minutes, I was like, might as well go to the gate. So I stayed in the capsule hotel because my flight was was um, 10 o'clock and then you know you have to get to the airport two hours earlier so around 8 a.m. and then from Mikuni to the airport it's about maybe an hour and a half so that means I had to leave around 6 to 6 30 a.m. to make my flight so because of that I thought it's better to book a capture hotel so I can just wake up at you know 7 30 and then head straight to the airport so I did that and usually I do that when I have an earlier flight just because it's more convenient, I don't have to stress out um, especially if you miss a train or bus I just made it to Hong Kong and I just went to like a news agency store I guess to get a bottle of water. Usually I would go into the lounge and grab water in there because they've got free water in some lounges anyway but unfortunately um, I only have about half an hour until I have to board the next flight so I'm gonna walk to my gate to make sure that I don't miss my flight. So from Hong Kong to Australia it's about seven and a half hours. I'm gonna try not to sleep on this flight so the previous flight I've slept for half of the flight but this time I'm gonna try and get some editing done and um, try and catch up on some work that I have been very 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 behind on. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm back in Australia now. It feels so good to be back. So I thought I would just explain to you guys and what's happening. Um, I just uploaded my video on where I talked about how I travel so much and saving money etc. And I just want to say thank you so much for all your comments because it really meant a lot to me. So I just want to say thank you for all your support. It really, really means a lot. And it really makes me want to film more videos where I talk to you guys more because I feel like you guys are really understanding. So going from that, I want to tell you guys that I am going back to Japan again in a couple of days and I'm so stressed out because, okay, like, you guys don't get to see this but traveling a lot is not as glamorous as it seems. Literally, I just go home, unpack my bag, and then I try and rest as much as I can, then I pack my bag again. That's what I'm going to do for the next few days. When I am really tired from traveling, I don't film it. So usually at airports, sometimes I'm so tired, I'll have to go find a random bench to sleep on and to um, try and energize myself, which is not so glamorous because what's so glamorous about sleeping on a random bench in an airport, right? But that's what I do sometimes and I don't film it because when I'm exhausted, I just don't want to bring up my camera. I just want to find a spot to sleep and get as much sleep as I can. So I'm not complaining about anything. I'm not complaining that I travel so much. I'm just saying that it's not as, you know, glamorous as it looks. So I am going back to Tokyo this time and I'm going back because of Tokyo Creative. Tokyo Creative is the agency I am now with and this is another business trip I'm taking and I only just found out about this last week so it was kind of stressful because I was hoping to spend more time in Australia to settle down but 
unfortunately um, things like this happen well fortunately as well because that means I get to go back to Japan and film more content for you guys this time I do have some more free time so I'm very excited to um, film some fun things for you guys anyway I don't really want to drag this video on too long because I just want to tell you guys that I also want to take a break for a few days now that doesn't mean there's going to be no vlogs for the next few days that just means that I finally can catch up on all my other vlogs so when I get to Tokyo that means that the videos I'm uploading um, I only just filmed them like one or two days ago because right now all my other vlogs I'm uploading I filmed them like two weeks in advance and you know it just doesn't feel the same when editing the vlogs when it's filmed so long ago so I'm going to try and get back to real time and then once I do I can start maybe Q&A sessions again so you guys can comment questions and I'll answer them in the next video something like that alright anyway I'm gonna show you guys what I got um, in Japan so I bought a big suitcase this time around with me because my intention was to shop so let me show you guys what I got first off I just unpacked my takoyaki uh, magnets and they kind of got damaged a little bit because I dropped them while they were still wet so it was my fault but you can't really tell right and then I went to Costco and I got a mixing bowl set glass ones I'm so happy about these so I was in Costco and my friend was laughing at me because I saw these mixing bowls and I was like these are nice mixing bowls and I just went up to them and decided to get them and my friend was like you know you're old when you go up to mixing bowls and you're like happy to see them. So I bought a set of, I believe, four mixing bowls. And they all come with lids. So that's really great if you want to save food for the next day. But these ones, they look really good. I can serve salads in them really nicely. And also, I really like how they've got the lids. Because sometimes I cook food and I cook too much. And I do that on purpose because Eric can take them to uh, lunch next day and then I can eat um, some food for lunch the next day as well but we actually don't have any uh, bowls of lids on them so usually we just put them in containers but that means more washing so I guess if I can put everything into these bowls once I cook them and then just put a lid on them when I'm finished it would make my life easier Pokemon cushions because um, for our couch we don't have anything on our couch right now I thought these would really suit our couch Eric doesn't know yet so I'm just gonna put them on our couch and just not say anything and let's see what he says he probably wouldn't mind though because at the moment we've only got um a youtube pillow on there which doesn't really suit so yeah for clothing i only bought one clothing item and it is this um shirt and it's got this lacy part up here which i really like and it kind of hangs off your shoulder and this is really in style right now in japan i've been seeing this sort of item everywhere that's the only clothing item i bought i was planning on buying a lot of clothes in japan this time but for some reason when i went shopping i wasn't feeling it i didn't like anything and i'm not gonna buy clothes for the sake of buying it i have to like it before i buy it i also went to don quixote and i got a bunch of stuff tax free so let me just open this bag up I got this face wash and this is for acne um, from Meant for Latum and I heard really good things about this. It has won awards as well so I am going to try this out for a video. I also got this Sailor Moon eyelash curler which I'm really excited about. I have not seen this before. The replacements but they're all different colours from different Sailor Moon characters. Also you see the Sailor Moon symbol here. This is from Koji and I've used eyelash curlers from Koji before and I do like them so hopefully it's good. I got some nose strips and these are for my friends. They requested me to buy them this, so got these for them. Then I got some face masks and this is from Lululun. And I really like these face masks. They work really well, especially for traveling. It has a sealable bag, so yeah, I'm gonna take this with me when I travel to Japan again. I really want to um, make sure my skin stays healthy. So at the moment it feels good because I was able to do my skincare last night. But the past few days I've been really lazy because of all the traveling. And I've cut back a lot on my skincare and when that happened my skin got really dull. So at the moment it's okay and I'm gonna try and keep it this way. I also got this cream. This is like a six in one cream. People have raved about this, so I can't wait to try this one out. I also got some um, armpit whiteners because I want to try and use these for a video and also for a friend. And then I got a Pokemon apron because recently I've been cooking a lot, as you guys already know. And um, I'm actually quite a messy cook, to be honest. So when I cook, things go everywhere. Uh, food gets on my clothes. So because of that I got an apron so my clothes don't get dirty. Ah, it's adorable Oh, it's a little pocket here. 
I love it. These gloves for the kitchen. I notice I don't deal with holding hot things very well because I see people doing it all the time and when I do it, I'm like, it's too hot, I can't do it. So because of that, I always have a hard time moving pots and pans around while it's still hot. So I decided to get these and I can use these for baking. Pikachu, that's so cute. So I wanted to get one more of these because I do have the Sailor Moon one already right here but I have two bathrooms in this apartment so sometimes I wash my face in that bathroom sometimes this bathroom really depends and because of that um, I'm always running back and forth trying to get my stuff so I decided to get another one to just permanently leave in the bathroom so I don't have to do that anymore um, I went to Muji and then I got a bunch of things so most of them are just containers like this because I want to um, organize my makeup space a bit better so I bought quite a lot of these and these were only like 100 yen each so it was really cheap and then I also got some empty bottles so I want to use these for I guess when I travel because if you guys watch my video where I did the Korean 10 step skincare for a month now when I was in Japan uh, for vlogmas back in November I didn't really have a good skincare routine because I was trying out new things and also I was very lazy I was only putting on one or two products on my face which is sufficient for some people but for me it isn't so my skin got very dry and really dull but then when I got back and did the Korean 10 step skincare again on my face my face improved so much so because of that I want to bring the products I use for my Korean 10 step skincare and I'll put them into little containers like this so I can travel with them and then hopefully my skin will stay um, nice while I'm overseas. I also got this keychain from the Pokemon Center and that's just because I don't have a keychain for my keys right now and I thought it would be really cute. More containers. I also got some fridge magnets because we didn't have any fridge magnets and Eric was kind of um, like at the start he was like I don't want anything on our fridge so I was like okay sure but then after living together for a while we realized we kind of want a place to put some notes on or we want to put bills and reminders on so got a bunch of fridge magnets I got the melon pan, sushi, shalong bao and more sushi. I also got two makeup brushes and I'm going to definitely use these for when I travel. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here because my sister's already here and I need to go downstairs to get her. So I will see you guys in the next video where I'm going to be packing my bags for Japan again. I know it's very um, crazy in my life but that's just how it is for now. Thank you so much for your support. Hopefully by then all my videos would have caught up. So thanks guys once again. I'll see you next time. Bye!